we call it a singspiration. I was looking in a dictionary for the meaning of that, but you know it's not a word. <laughs> it's something that we have crafted. <laughs> so, but we, that's okay. Webster made his word, so I don't see why we can't make ours, right? So it's good to be back in the house of the Lord tonight to this singspiration, and it's called Singing in My Soul. And you know, when we sing in our soul, it brings a blessing to those who are hearing it. There's a scripture I have here with, from 1 Corinthians 14 and 15. It says, what is it then? I will pray with the spirit and I will pray with the understanding. I will sing with the spirit and I will sing with the understanding also. So we are to sing with an understanding. And you know, sometimes we might sing things and we're not even sure what we're singing, but the Bible says we should seek understanding of what we're singing. Because if we do not have it inside, it does not come forth to bless. So let's always remember to seek God's guidance, especially when we're preparing special singing or even chairmanship. We choose, the, ask the Lord to help us to find the songs that will bring a blessing to the, the people and also to bring him glory. So singing is a very important part of the worship. And we know we can be blessed just as much by singing as we can by anything else. So tonight we want you to put your heart into the whole, your whole heart into the service and let's be blessed together. So I'm happy to have each one here tonight. So glad that you're here. We're sure others will come quarter to seven, maybe not as easy to get used to. But we, I'm sure others will join us. Thank you all for coming, those who are here. We trust that we will all be blessed together. We will go directly into prayer at this time. Do we have any requests on this side? Many hands on my right. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Sister Tasha, Sister Tasha as well needs her prayer. Please remember my brother Andrew. He's getting older now. He is an older man. And he's not well today. He has fever. So we're not sure what that is. So please remember him, soul and body, as you pray. Yeah. Yes, give God thanks for that, Sister Linda. At this time, Sister Hysons is going to come and lead us to the throne of God. Let's all stand for prayer, please. Sister Hyson. Let us pray. Our most holy and eternal Father, we thank you again for another privilege to be in your house. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your love. We thank you, Lord, that you send your only son to die for us. And because of this, re your son, we are here tonight to praise and adore your matchless name. Lord, we could be otherwise minded. But when we think of your goodness, when we think of your love, when we think of your mercy, when we think of all that you have done for us, it gives us a desire to want to be in your house. It gives us a determination to want to praise and adore your matchless name. Even though, Lord, there are so many thorns and thistles, but we know, God, that you are a great God, and there's nothing impossible. Nothing is impossible with thee. So we ask you tonight, dear Lord, that you'll go before and lead the way for us. Go before their Father. We are a failure, but we know that indeed there is no failure. So we ask you, dear Lord, that you will go before. There are so many people that are sick. I'm not able to call their names, but you know every heart tonight. We ask you, dear Lord, that you will visit everyone, dear Father, and help us, dear Lord, that when you have done your work, we will praise you. We will give you the thanks. Bless us now tonight as we ask and wait upon thee. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you. At this time, Sister Karen will 
lead us in the opening chorus. Let's just praise the Lord, after which the choir will sing, Let All the People Praise Thee. I'm going to impose on you to stand for our opening chorus. Let's just praise the Lord. Let's, let's lift our hands toward heaven and praise the Lord. Let's just praise.
choir for that beautiful song. Let all the people praise thee. That includes all of us. Let us not shun from giving the Lord praises. And we're here together tonight for that sole purpose because we're singing in our soul. You know, when I was studying for, to chair this service, I was looking in the Bible for some of the Bible characters who had something to do with singing. And sometimes we don't think of Moses, but you know Moses was a singer. We don't know whether he was singing baritone or tenor or bass, but Mos Moses was a singer. He might have sang like Brother Shaw, or Brother Isaac, Brother Lenny, any of the brothers who sing. Moses was a singer, and it's found in Exodus 15, verses 1 and 2. And the purpose for Moses' singing was, so was singing because he was victorious. It says, then Moses, then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord, and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. He is my God. So Moses sang unto the Lord. We might not have um, thought of it as a song, but it is. The Bible says he sang, and then Miriam and the others joined him. So Brother Isaac is going to sing now. He's going to sing A Beautiful Life. An anonymous writer writes, no one finds life worth living. He must make it worth living. And this, the chorus of this song says, each day I do a golden deed. No, my, my life's, life's evening sun is sinking low. A few more days and I must go to meet the deeds that I have done where there will be no setting sun. <clears throat> Each day I do a golden deed by helping those who are in need. My life but a span and so I'll do the best I can life's evening sun is sinking low a few more days and I must go child of God each day. My life must shine along the way. I'll sing his praise while ages roll and strive to have some troubled soul. One that's kind and good and pure, and so for God I'll take my stand each day. I'll lend a helping hand. Life 
life's evening sun is sinking low. A few more days, and I must go to meet the deeds that I have done. Where there will be no setting sun, I'll have someone in time of need and journey on with rapid speed. I'll help the sick and poor and weak and words of kindness to them speak while going down life's sweet road I'll try to live some traveler's load I'll try to turn the night to day May flowers bloom along the way Join with me please Life's evening sun is sinking low A few more days and I must go to meet the deed that I have done. Where there will be no setting sun. Amen. Sister Christine will give us a poem at this time. I'm sure she wrote the poem. After which the Universal Gospel Singers will sing, I don't need to understand. Singing in my soul. There are many types of singers from every walk of life from the youngest of beginners to the oldest husband or wife. Singing isn't new, I'm sure you will agree, no matter if you're sad and blue or if your heart is full of glee. But singing in the soul is different than singing with the mouth, as it happens when one is made whole, whether you're from the east, west, north, or south. Singing in the soul is sort of an unexplainable feeling that will make you feel real whole, providing comfort and even healing. Singing in the soul is certainly a personal experience available to everyone, young or old, through the sincere act of repentance. Singing in the soul can also be enjoyed all year, thankfully without being told to cease, thereby causing dread and fear. Singing in the soul isn't limited to just the rich and famous, and it certainly can't be bought or sold, but can be enjoyed by every one of us. So as we take time to focus on such an important thing, remember one day all of us can live forever with the King of Kings. And this is made possible by surrendering your life to him, as found in the Bible when you're forgiven of all sin. Come now to Jesus, and begin this journey to be made whole, where you can rejoice with us with singing in your soul.
Sunshine comes and sunshine goes and shadows linger. Darkness fills the night with mystery and care. But within my heart a gentle voice reminds me. Sometimes when we don't understand, we can still sing and give praise to God and wait until we understand, which is a word that none of us like, waiting. But it teaches us patience. Most of us need it. I know I need it. Give God thanks for the singing of the songs of Zion, which lifts our souls. In Numbers 21... Two verses, 16 and 17. Remember, we're talking about singing in our hearts. And this one is singing for th um, giving thanks for water. Numbers 21, 16 and 17 says, And from thence they went to Beer, that is the well whereof the Lord spake unto Moses. Gather the people together, and I will give them water. Then Israel sang this song, Spring up, O well. Sing ye unto it. The princes dig the well. The nobles of the people dig, digged it by the direction of the lawgiver with their staves. And from the wilderness they went to Matana. So Moses sang with a purpose. And that purpose was to give thanks for the water that God had provided for him. For him and, his, and the people of Israel. At this time, Brother Lenny will sing, I thirst.
Evening Church. One day I came to him, I was so thirsty, I asked for water, my throat was so dry. He said, I thirst, yet he made the rivers. He said, I thirst, yet he made the sea. Oh, I thirst, said the king of the ages. In his great thirst, he brought water to me. One day I came to him. I was so thirsty. I asked for water. My throat was so dry. He gave me water that I had never dreamed of. But for this water, my Lord had to die. He said, I thirst, yet he made the river. He said, I thirst. Yet he made the sea. Oh, I thirst, said the king of the ages. In his great thirst, he brought water to me. Now there's a river that flows as clear as crystal. It comes from God's throne above. And like a river, it wells up inside me, bringing mercy and life-giving love. He said, I thirst. Yet he made the rivers. He said, I thirst. Yet he made the sea. Oh, I thirst, said the king of the ages. In his great thirst, he brought water to me. Joining the chorus. He said, I thirst, yet he made the river. He said, I thirst, yet he made the sea. Oh, I thirst, said the king of the ages. In his great thirst, brought water to me in his great thirst he brought water to me water thank the Lord for that water he gave the children of Israel water from the rock, but our water comes from the rock of ages. Yes. Thank God for the water that he's given us to quench our thirst. We don't have to be thirsty anymore. Thank God for that. At this time, we have something a little different. We, those of us who attended Truth Youth School and gave our hearts to the Lord and we're living a Christian life, we want you all to come and Join us in singing. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings. We know what Truth Youth School 
ma meant and means to us. So would you please join me, the Christians who are here that attended Truth For Youth School. And teachers, sorry. Teachers, staff, and students. <coughs>
Thank you, fellow fruit for uters, we used to call each other. Thank you so much. The seed was planted. It sprouted and it grew. Thank God for those who have accepted the Lord. And I believe it was mainly because of the True Feud School why I accepted the Lord. I remember when I was a little girl, probably 10, and um, in the devotion, Sister Wilma, one day, she didn't, they didn't just read you the scripture. They had devotions with you. And I remember distinctly, she's saying to the class, she said, if you do not feel like you're ready to give your heart to the Lord, just pray and ask the Lord to help you to decide. And that stuck with me. And I remember being in the services in East End as a girl, and that came back to me whenever I felt conviction. And then I asked the Lord to, you know, be with me and help me. And thank God at 14 years of age, I gave my heart to the Lord. Amen. So the school has planted seeds. The school is important. We don't, know the, we don't know the future, but let's talk about the present and the past and hope for the future. Thank you. Thank you so much, students. God bless us all together, past students. Sister Ava and her group will sing, I found a better way. Something happened, and now I know he touched me. Church of God, I found a place to pray, and there I found the Lord, I found a better way. Just like I used to be, there's been a change in me, I found a better way. I found a 
Thank the Lord for the better way. We're singing in our souls because we found the better way. At this time, Sister Marika will lead us in the scripture reading, Psalm 27. It will be on the screen. We'll do it in unison, Sister Marika. Psalm 27. We'll ask you all to please stand for the reading of God's word. So praise the Lord. We are going to read it together. Um, we begin. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies, and my foes came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war shall rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up on the rock, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer him his sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou sayest, The announcements for this week is 7 p.m. on Wednesday, we have a young people's meeting. On Saturday at 5.30, prayer meeting. And next Sunday, we'll go back to our usual services, 9.45 Sunday school, 11 a.m. morning worship. 7 p.m. evangelistic service with chorus singing starting at 6.45. We have another portion of scripture of singing. It's in Acts 16, 25 to 31. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's bands were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, awakening out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. But Paul cried with a loud voice saying, do thyself no harm for we are all here. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them on out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, 
and thou shalt be saved and thy house. So they prayed, they, they, they were singing with understanding. Although they were in a difficult situation, they sang and the, the singing brought the power of God down and released them from prison. So we're gonna sing now, we've got the power. Give me your hand, let's agree together. now to join us and somebody touched me. I'm going to ask Sister Karen to come and lead this. 
she knows how to do this better than I could ever do it. Somebody touched me. Sister Christine's service inspired me, so um, I want to sing Somebody Touch Me. We're going through the days of the week. And we can all stand at the end. While I was praying, somebody touched me. While I was praying, somebody touched me. While I was praying, somebody touched me. I know it was the hand of the Lord. Monday. after which the Universal Gospel Singers will sing the Old Country Church. All the men that were asked, please come.
really singing from her hearts yes okay the next one is the latest group now they're going to sing heaven came down after which brother leroy will sing i'm coming up 
latest group, please.
heart I'm striving Trying to make it True this boring land But as I go from day to day I can hear my Savior say Trust me child Come on now hold my hand I'm coming up On the rough side Of the mountain I must hold to God His powerful I'm coming up, Lord, although my burden sometimes press me down. But if I can only keep the faith, I'll have strength just to run this race. Oh, I'm looking, I'm looking for my story crown. I'm coming up. On the rough side of the mountain, I must hold to God His powerful land. I'm coming up on the rough side of the mountain. I'm doing will soon be over Oh, it may be no more race for me to run We all gotta stand before God's throne All our heartaches will be gone Oh, I hear my Savior say Child, welcome home I'm coming up on the rough side of the mountain, I must hold to God. It's powerful land. I'm coming up on the rough side of the mountain. so much brother Leroy we're coming up the rough side of the mountain and we're going to sing now because we come up on the rough side of the mountain there will be no retreat we have new collaboration here sister Jordan is joining us for this one welcome sister Jordan I've been scorned by your neighbor whom I treasure. I've been deceived by a friend that I held dear. So many times I just want.
if you know it. Another hymn, and sometimes a mountain. Another road with rocks to hurt my feet. But when he walks beside me, God's grace, there will be no retreat. We do not give in nor give up. We just keep on going. At this time, the choir, along with Brother Leary and Sister Miriam, will do an item called the Old Ditch Digger. The Old Ditch Digger. The Old Ditch Digger. Once there was a rich lady. This rich lady had everything she could wish for. One day she called her chauffeur and said, I want you to take me for a ride. We are going over in the slum district and see how the poor old outcasts are doing. The chauffeur pulled out and was driving along an old rough bumpy street but the rich lady had such a fine limousine, she hardly knew there was a rough place. All at once, they drove by a place where they saw an old, dirty-faced man shoveling away in a muddy old ditch. He was singing a song, and it struck the rich lady with such force, she called her chauffeur to stop the car. Then, the rich lady could hear very plainly the words of the beautiful song he was singing. And here it is. My father is rich in houses and land. He holdeth the wealth of the world in his hand. Of rubies and diamonds, of silver and gold, his comforts are full, he has riches untold. Across the ditch, and there stood an old, rough, run-down, unpainted shack where the poor old ditch digger and his family had to live. There was no screen doors, cardboard in over half of the windows, as the glass panes were broken. She then said, "Listen, man, you aren't a child of a king. Look at that old shack you live in. If you were a child of a king, you would live in a palace." with beautiful lawn and with the latest pictures around your yard. Why, you're just an old ditch digger, digging in that old muddy ditch to earn a living. But the old ditch digger kept on singing. I once was an outcast stranger on earth. A sinner by choice and an alien by birth. But I've been adopted, my name's written down. And here's to a man's 
nation a robe and a crown I'm a child of the king a child of the king with Jesus my savior I'm a child of the king the rich lady was so amazed by this time she hardly knew just what to say but finally she said, you say your father is a king and you live in a shack like that? Why, it isn't as good as my pet dog's house. And if you were a child of a king, you would attend the big balls and wine parties we have at the king's palace. You couldn't be a child of the king. Don't fool yourself. You are just an old ditch digger. But the old ditch digger kept on singing. I love the king. I'm a child of the king. A child of the king. With Jesus my savior. I'm a child of the king. The rich old lady got in her and the chauffeur drove away. She said, I don't see how anyone could claim so much and yet have so little. The old ditch digger leaned on his shovel handle and watched the old rich lady as she rode away. He said, I don't see how anyone could claim to have so much and yet have nothing. Friends, that rich woman needed Jesus in her heart. Last scripture is Revelations 14, 2 to 3. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. Sister Karen will lead us now in Jesus sign my pardon, the last chorus, and this is the song of the redeemed. Let us all stand, please. I was in sin's prison. I was in sin's prison. Oh,
singing in our souls. I'm sure everyone here was touched in their soul. I know I was touched many times in my soul tonight. And we give God thanks for you again for coming out to be with us. Thank everyone who sang and took part. We want to give you special thanks for putting forth the effort to be here and to do your part. Sister Karen Hyde prepared the service and I want to give her our appreciation to her for selecting the songs and getting it arranged with all those who helped her. May God continue to bless her. We'll now dismiss Sister Vida. Would you please come and dismiss us? Let us pray. Most gracious and loving Father, you were sure in this place tonight. Amen. Father God, we thank you for the beautiful song. We thank you for the inspiration that it has given us. Father God, continue to help us walk circumplex as wise men and women redeeming the time lord because father god the days are just so evil yeah. so thank you for meeting here with us and as we dismiss this building now but not from your presence lord we ask that you go with us to our home of abode and bring us back in your own time and in your own sweet will we say thank you in jesus name amen, amen.